At you, well, tell us first. What are the news? There is a replacement in the team? Yeah, we've had a, a sickness, so uh, Ruby will be out of the team and uh, we'll have Brody Chapman replace her. So it's, it's late and it's uh, difficult, uh, but everybody still wants to race. Oh, it will impact this kind of effort. We know it's a lot about coordination. And yeah, actually. yeah. look, uh, there was a lot of work gone into you know reviewing the course and going over the course and having everybody ready um, and obviously having a rider come in this late. But uh, look, as I said, Everybody wants to race and we've found a replacement and we're ready to go. And what are the advice you will give to your rider today because it's not an easy course, not a usual yeah. one. Uh, look, I, I'm lucky enough, uh, I'll be following the men's team and uh, we've got the same team that was at Wollongong. Um, they're well drilled and they probably know more about teams time trialling than I do so they're telling me, uh, they've given me the advice so you know we've got our race notes, uh, they'll go out there and, and do their best possible ride. But what is the overall vibe? It's still a course for specialists? It's more a course for where we could get surprised with more technical rider getting advantage? Uh, look, I think at the end of the day, uh, the strongest teams will, will be able to set a fast time. Um, it is all about managing that, uh, managing the effort and uh, particularly managing uh, the efforts after the technical sections that you don't leave a rider behind. And, and once a rider is over their limit, it's hard to come back from that. So, yeah. Uh, we have to wait and see. When the race is won, it's easy in hindsight to say uh, uh, where where you can make the biggest difference. But I think it'll be the strongest teams that we expect. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you very much.